light has shined on us for that very period of time so not as much as black history but more so black future because the past is the past but the future is what we aim to, to, to make better as a woman of color i am proud to be part of a legacy of resilient people who fought and are still fighting for truth and justice and equality. As an educator and adult, we really like to celebrate our youth leaders and our adult leaders as they are making history today for a better tomorrow. Some of the important black people that I think about when it comes to Black History Month would be Frederick Douglass, Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, W.E.B. Du Bois, and countless others. Black History Month should really be, right, not a month, but a whole year because it's an opportunity to tell the millions of little tiny stories that are embedded in all of these people that are so impactful. Most importantly, I think about how it serves as a lens through which people see themselves. And so I think that creates an environment where like kids can look to people like Langston Hughes and, and be inspired to get involved in things like arts or maybe like Alicia Garza and be inspired or motivated to be more civically engaged. Look at people like Joffrey Canada and think that you can change the world and Black History Month offers an opportunity to, for people to do that in a meaningful way. During Black History Month, year after year, has truly helped educate me in so many ways. It's a start to tell an all American stories and highlighting all races, all culture, everything that makes each one of us special. Black History Month means a chance to celebrate all the sacrifices that black people have made for this beautiful country. We have a whole month that we can just sit and learn and educate ourselves so we don't make the mistakes that we've made in the past. Black history is American history. Black history is American history. Black history is American history.